Honorable Union Home Minister Shri Rajnath Singh Ji, our chief guest and keynote speaker this evening, 29 winners of the Ramnath Goenka Awards for Excellence in Journalism for work done in 2017, for the finest in print, broadcast, and purely digital, and all the shortlisted nominees, members of the jury, members of the panel, talented editors who will share with us their insight later this evening on a subject vital to the future of our profession. <coughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very happy and a healthy pollution-free New Year to you all in Delhi. I welcome you to this very special evening. It's my privilege to introduce Sri Rajnath Singh Ji. His career in politics not only tells us a remarkable story of, a, of personal achievement, but is also a chronicle of his formidable contribution to our public life. A physics teacher, he was schooled in politics during the emergency. He was the JP Movement's district coordinator in Uttar Pradesh and became an MLA in the State, of, in the state Assembly for the first time in 1977. Rajnath Ji, therefore, belongs to that spirited generation which fought emergency firsthand. He challenged with his moral conviction the erosion of our fundamental rights, and he worked hard to ensure that we got our democracy back which makes him, for all of us at the Indian Express, a kindred spirit. In 1992, when our economy was opening up to the world, Rajnath Ji was trying to level a different kind of a playing field. His anti-copying law ushered in sweeping reforms in the state education system. As Surface Transport Minister in the Atal Bihari Vajpayee government, he saw the golden quadrilateral take shape, and shortly after that, brought in farm insurance as agriculture minister, two initiatives that, till this day, couldn't be more relevant to the changing India story. Long before competitive federalism became a talisman for our national politics, he knew as the union minister that cooperation with the states was essential to the success of central programs. And so his politics was always about cutting across political lines and reaching across the aisle. Politics we now need more than ever. When fault lines, especially in the run-up to the elections, are being drawn so deep and so hard, Rajnath Ji knows how to step beyond these lines. My favorite example of this is from that July afternoon in 2017, when Jammu and Kashmir was in ferment, when the Amarnath Yatra had been attacked by militants, when eight pilgrims were killed, and the rhetoric on either side was so shrill that nothing could be heard. He stepped in, and yes, with one tweet, he lowered the temperature. He underlined what was obvious. By stating the obvious, as we know, can sometimes be a challenge. He said that the people of Kashmir had strongly condemned the terror attack on Amarnath pilgrims, and this showed that the spirit of Kashmiriyat was very much alive. What his intervention showed was his ability to listen to the voice of anger, but not be provoked. This is, after all, a key attribute of good journalism in these times. And that marks the winners of the Ramnath Goenka Excellence in Journalism Awards this evening. In its 13th year, the RNG Awards, as we choose to call them, I'm happy to report the 650 nominations saw a record number of shortlisted in the print and broadcast. I keep this count every year, and this time I'm pleased to report that only six of the 29 winners this evening are those who have won RNGs earlier. Of the repeat winners, print has two, broadcast has four. So clearly, this is eloquent evidence of the fact that good journalists are not in short supply. 
we need to remind ourselves of this empowering fact, especially at a time when good journalism faces challenges from a range of sources because of both the medium and the message. Good journalism is its own reward. It strengthens our profession, and a good story, well told, fairly and accurately, is the most powerful counter to those who try to shut us up. The winning stories this evening exemplify this. From investigating illegal beach sand mining in Tamil Nadu to, expo to exploring what does farm distress mean to the daily life of a farmer and his or her family calling out day after day a state government's attempt to silence criticism, to tracking the dreams of women cricketers in a Punjab village, or blowing the cover of a secret operation inside the tobacco giant's campaign to subvert public health, and a seminal book on the nexus between crime and politics in our country and its implications on the quality of our democracy. This is a remarkable range of work that goes way beyond merely witness, that takes the headlines and goes in search of what lies behind them. It keeps asking questions, never gives up until it has found answers, and in many, many cases finds more questions. It's not that we have read or watched these stories for the first time. Each one has already been published or broadcast and each one is just one Google search away. This means that there is excellent journalism out there if we look beyond the 9 p.m. shouting brigade on television or beyond the WhatsApp forwards. This excellence needs constant reiteration and renewal. So please join me in doing that by welcoming the Honorable Home Minister Sri Rajanath Singh Ji to present the RNG Awards for 2017, and after he does that, share with us his thoughts on what we in the media need to resolve and reflect upon as we start a very newsy new year. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.